Hey everybody, a bunch of years ago, whenever I played baseball in high school, we would gather as a team and take a knee and there was always somebody that was assigned the role of leading us as a team through the Lord's Prayer. And we would say it together. As I understand it, that still happens today on a lot of different athletic fields um, before they play the games. In fact, I kind of wish that they could do that before they take tests. I could have I benefited from that. Um, but that prayer has been so meaningful to me through the years. It's meaningful because Jesus gave us that prayer. He told us uh, in teaching us how to pray in, in the Gospel of Matthew, um, it's actually chapter 6, verse 9 through 15, uh, that he gave us that prayer. And he said this, he said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. See, that is a prayer that, as we learned it, that was a reminder that God provides. It is a request to the Heavenly Father for daily provision. Some of you are asking this question, what are we going to do? What's going to happen next? How are we going to get through this? We need to continue to pray the way that we've been taught to pray by Jesus. God, we trust you to provide. We ask you to make provision for today. When your kids say, what's going to happen? You remind them that our Lord is in charge. He's on the throne. One other little tidbit that I want to remind you of in the Old Testament, upon which our faith is built as Christians. In Genesis, I think it's Genesis 22, actually it's verse 14. Abraham had been asked by God to sacrifice his son Isaac, and in the very last minute, God provided a ram in the thicket. After seeing God's provision in place of his very own son, Abraham named that place, the Lord provides it is my prayer that after all this virus stuff is over, that we would be able to describe this place, this time in our life, as the Lord provides. Peace, guys.